Okay guys, I got the battery charger on the Dodge here. And we should have drove it in here because it's so difficult to... Well, we got this old battery charger. I got it, um, I'm recording on my cell phone. I hope it's better, but I don't have my DSLR. We got it on 12 volt, two amp for now. Set on 12 volts. That thing will work right. It's just flickering away. I hope the batteries are good. But I'm gonna let it charge for a while and then I'm gonna put it on boost when I start it. But don't wanna blow these batteries up. There's two batteries are mismatched. This is a Ami start. And then the other side's a Napa. So I thought we'd do a old start, cold start. We gotta get a start and get it turned around. For one thing, it shouldn't be like this. Okay, I don't want to be close to this battery case it boils, but this is our Napa Napa. Check the oil probably. I didn't even think about it. I don't think, yeah, it's on full. I guess I don't think I'd worry too much about it. The really thing what I'd really worry about is the mouse dust on the engine, but I'm not seeing nothing. This battery looks like it's bad. There's acid all over, but we'll let it charge for a while. That's really starting to perk up now, so. It may be just weak, and the batteries may be bad too. They was many years ago we replaced some batteries, probably five years ago. So we'll let it charge for a while, and I'll come back up. Unfortunately, the light will have to stay stay on, but it's coming lively. It's coming up. That grid heater takes a lot of power too, and it's it's cold today. It's I mean it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. About 28 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's uh, Thursday. We have a big winter storm coming, stuff. So um, it should not be gelled up. Cause if it's below zero, then it would be gelled up. It's straight number two in there. So this would be a good old start, cold start for you guys. Um, but we'll see. All right, talk to you guys later. We're gonna let it charge for a good hour here, and then we'll put it on boost. Okay, guys. I decided to try it now. It's only been under five minutes. She might blow batteries, but we'll try it here. Yeah, I don't know. Fans off. Battery's down a little bit. I'll put the throttle down here. Yeah, it's just be really weak. Oh, now it's charging. Look at that. Now it's charging. Okay, I'm gonna let it charge for a while. We don't want them batteries to blow up. About five amps. Wait a minute here. Nope. 
Well guys, uh, one of the batteries must be bad. So we're not gonna mess with it. So I'm gonna let you guys know I've had quite a lot of people ask me, why don't you drive a diesel pickup or a diesel car in the winter time? Um, or in the summer? Well, in the winter, the winter gets treacherous here. Very cold and everything else. So, um, why would I want to drive a diesel when you have to always constantly be maintaining the fill filters? I know you can on gases, but you have to constantly have to have number one or mixture fill or all additives, and then you have to constantly put batteries in it, uh, injectors, you name it. I don't know why everyone wants me to get a diesel. Now, on the farm, these diesels are never ran in the winter. Now, everybody says, well, why don't you run them? That's what they're for. Well... They don't start see I just just it's been sitting for about two three weeks batteries just have no bad yes batteries yeah we can go get batteries and stuff but we may not start still um, crank position sensors been out on here before and sometimes it don't start so I'm, I'm starting to wonder if that's the problem oh boy that water pumps out again um, so it's good to tell you guys. Uh, I guess we won't start that. Like it's already getting weak already. Uh, one of these batteries, it could be this battery, it could be that battery. Maybe both are bad. We'd have to take it off and test them not in parallel because uh, right now, if I hook it up and test it, I'm testing both of them. So, but I don't have the time. It's too cold right now. Um, well, at least we tried it. 